Okay, hello! Adeptus Destates are now hither. They have arrived. It is the day of the Adeptus Astartes. I like this one. This one gives us a lot of nice info, which we'll get to. Uh, if you're not familiar with the channel, uh, I'll stick a link just there. It should be there. That's got all some of my videos on. We've been looking at all of the new Kill Team Focus stuff, which has been coming out daily. And this is the third one on the Adeptus Astartes. Cool, the one which everyone should be able to play because we all have space rings. Right, so let's get straight into it, shall we? Screen, pop up somewhere now. Go, cool. Adeptus Astartes kill teams are a single category, but you're still able to represent each chapter. Okay, so, there's one book for Adeptus Astartes, so there's not gonna be a Space Wolves, Blood Angels, um, Raven Guard, whatever book. It's just gonna be Adeptus Astartes. However, you can paint and play them how you like, but they all play exactly the same. Which is okay. That's a little bit disappointing. I wish they just had a little small bonuses for, for each one. But yeah, sure, whatever. So you can you can make and paint and play whatever ones you like. And they just say, um, you know, just if you want them to be a bit more like, um, if you want them to be like Raven Guard, go go for Scouts and Reavers. If you want them to be like Ultramarines, go for Primaris Intercessors. Which is a bit like, all right, great. Doesn't matter. This is what I like. So, Hupa, Hupa, super, superhuman resilience. So, they all have like a special ability, which is really cool. Which is Space Marines have a cool rule um, called uh, it allows them to ignore their first flesh wound. Okay, so it says flesh wound here. So it looks like every one of your units are going to have a few flesh wounds, and those flesh wounds are going to be like just like normal wounds basically so basically um, say something did a flesh wound to your space marine as it's that their first flesh wound they take they just ignore it which is quite cool it's quite nice um, so that's quite cool so we've got we're gonna have so now we know that and now we know that everyone's gonna have their own specific um, like trait for that army which is also quite nice um, Space Marines have a little bit of everything, making them great for the kill team. Can't shoot someone or just charge them, smash them to me. It's just saying about what they are. Um, kill team is a perfect opportunity to build and convert that niche chapter you've always wanted to collect. Yeah, that's quite a nice idea. Um, perhaps you didn't want to make a full army. Um, but you can make your own little ones. That's quite a good idea. So yeah, if you like experiment with a colour scheme or anything, and you've just got a couple of space marines that still need to be sprayed, or just black space marines, you can, you know, try out your own colour schemes and your own hist like your own lore and stuff. Because that's not going to actually interfere in here, is there? Because everyone's got the same tactics, so you can make as much fluff and stuff for your ones as you like. I quite like that, actually. That's quite cool. So here are the units. There's quite an odd amount of units. I thought we'd be a bit more. Uh, we'd have a bit more for space marines. Fair enough. So we've got scouts, um, nifty war gear. They can have sniper rifles or shotguns, um, and they make uh, and they're just a thematic choice in your kill team. And you've got tactical marines, so your, your standard space marines, flexible, durable, and capable of, of everything. Or oh, have players in the kill team. Yeah, you got reavers. Which are quite cool, so these, um, it's just Reavers, it's a kill team. So these are slightly more, basically these are like slightly more elite scouts, aren't they, Reavers? Group mini version elite, uh, leadership of enemy animals. Okay, so they reduct leadership. So leadership's gonna be a thing. That's very interesting. I don't think leadership will cause your things to run away. I think if you fail leadership, it's like on the Imperial Knights. If you fail it, you're gonna have some, um, some like negative abilities for that next turn because failing your leadership on this um, would just mean one of your units run away which doesn't seem I don't know it that just seems a bit too easy if you ask me just to make one of your units run away so I think instead of your units running away they have like a negating ability or something that's just what I'm guessing uh, intercessors they might not be flashy but they get the job done uh, with their bolt rifles Perfect. Yeah, just intercessors, primaries. This is really interesting. So we've got our Space Wolf Squad. Um, 
we're going to tactics soon. Um, but they're releasing a pack for um, for Kill Team, and it's going to be Space Wolves. Now there is lots of talk because the Space Wolf Codex is announced coming out soon. We're getting Space Wolves soon, um, but Space Wolves in the lore have not really been taking to Primaris. So now we've got Reavers, which is part of the Primaris like stuff. To me, that's going to say that we're going to get Primaris stuff in the Space Wolves Codex. Just a four. That's quite nice, isn't it? Okay, so here are their chapter tactics. Now, these chapter tactics are nice. These are nice chapter tactics. Okay, so, use this chapter tactic at the end of the fight phase. Pick a model um, from your kill team. That model can immediately fight in additional time. So you just get an additional attack, and it costs two command points. I think that's really good. You've got, like, a rapid fire two weapon. You're just getting that twice, aren't you? It's, it's, just, it's just a nice... For two command points, it seems okay. That, that seems about right to me. Okay. Um, use this tactic in the shooting phase when you choose an intercessor from your kill team. Uh, shoot with. You can add one to the hit, hit, hit and wound, wound, wound rolls. That's very nice. So you plus one to hit and wound rolls, and it's one command point. So you, it's just that they're just really good ones. They're the, they're the most promising ones I've actually seen out of the three we've done so far. I think they look they look like the best ones. That two command point one looks like it's probably worth two command points. Getting started. So this is cool. So they're going to bring out a kill team pack. So this is when you've got some Reavers, some terrain. Uh, I imagine it's like the data sheet cards, similar to what you get in Age of Sigma, um, and some stuff in there. So it's probably got all their specific rules, um, special cards. I'll give you some transfers. Let's have a look at that. Um, Looks cool. I think they're going to be bringing this out for most factions, um, or the most popular ones, who aren't in the big box set, which is quite cool. That's my phone. I do apologise. Um, yes, yeah, so that's cool. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to buy the big um, eighty pound box set, you can just get this. I think this is going to be about thirty pounds. So that's 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 nice. Um, or you can go and buy some stuff now, which is what Games Workshop would like to end all this with. But that's about it. And we've got Orcs next, which I'm looking forward to, because I think Orcs will be quite fun. Um, so yeah, that's the Adeptus Societies. They look the most promising, and that's annoying, because I wanted Adeptus Societies to be terrible in this, so no one plays them, because everyone plays Adeptus Societies. But they, st they still work, and they still should be interesting. Um, but they look to be the strongest that I've seen so far, out of what information they've given me. Yeah, so obviously take it from a pinch of salt, but it's looking to be quite interesting, and I'm actually really looking forward to Kill Team now. So, let's have a look, shall we? So, I got a 10, so I need 10 of you to subscribe. I'm on uh, 14, so I need to be a, I need to be on 14 now, right? I need 10 likes as well, please. You know, I just filmed this for you. That's right, you. So, you know, chuck me a like, that was on 17. 10. Somebody 10. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, well, anyway, see you later.